In this section, we're going to look at question behavior. This setting only applies to questions that have multiple parts, such as multiple choice or matching questions. If enabled, the parts making up each question will be randomly shuffled each time a student attempts the quiz. In other words, the answer options, for example, A, B, C and D, will be shuffled each time they attempt the quiz. Later, when you edit the questions, you can change this setting for individual questions. <music> Students can interact with the questions in the quiz in various ways. The default behavior is set to deferred feedback. This means that the students answer every question and then submit the entire quiz before anything is graded or to get any feedback. Alternatively, you may wish for students to submit each question as they go along and to get immediate feedback. And if they do not get it right immediately, have another try for fewer marks. That would be the interactive with multiple tries mode. Those are probably the two most commonly used modes of behavior. If you'd like to have more information, click on the question mark and then on more help to get to the question behaviors website. Under show more, you also have allow redo within an attempt. If enabled, when a student has finished attempting a question, they will see a redo question button. This allows them to attempt another version of the same question without having to submit the entire quiz and start another attempt. This option is useful for practice quizzes, for example if you want to do formative assessments. This setting only affects questions and behaviors such as immediate feedback or interactive with multiple tries, where it is possible for students to finish the question before the attempt is submitted. Each quiz builds on the last. If multiple attempts are allowed and this setting is enabled, each new question attempt will contain the results of the previous attempt. This allows a quiz to be completed over several attempts. 